Hello guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing fine. So today I'll show you how to create a zoom twirl transition in Premiere Pro. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe and like that would be insane. And let's get started. The first thing you will need to do is to drag both of your clips onto the timeline and trim them if you need to trim them. Now search up for an effect called transform and put it onto the first clip. Go about 5 frames back from the cut and press the keyframe button for scale. Now place the playhead on the cut and change the scale to about 20. But also you need to uncheck use compositions shutter angle and change the shutter angle to about 150 to create a motion blur. Okay, apply the same effect on the second clip and place the playhead on the cut and, and press the keyframe button for scale and change the scale to about 20. Go 5 frames further and reset the scale again. Also make sure to uncheck use composition shutter angle and change the shutter angle to about 150. As you can see, we created that basic zoom transition. Now we need to add in twirl. So search up for an effect called twirl and put it onto your first clip. Place the play hat on the cut and go about 15 frames back and press the keyframe button for angle. Now go all the way to the end of the clip and change the angle to about 55. Now apply the twirl effect onto your second clip and stay at the beginning of the clip and press the keyframe button for angle and change it to negative 55. Go 15 frames further and change the angle to zero again. Okay, now we need to create a fisheye look. To do that, search up for an effect called optics compensation. Go 15 frames back, check reverse lens distortion and press the keyframe button for field of view. Go all the way to the end of the clip and change the field of view to about 150. Apply the same effect onto your second clip and stay at the beginning of the clip and check reverse lens distortion. Press the keyframe button for field of view and change the field of view to about 150. Now go 15 frames further and change the field of view to zero again. So guys, as you can see, I made a mistake. I forgot to press the keyframe button. So I'll do it now real quick. So this is basically the effect, but now we need to get rid of those black edges. To do that, just apply an effect called motion tile onto both of your clips. And change the output width and height to 300. Also make sure to check mirror edges. As you can see, this effect hasn't changed anything. That's because we need to drag it all the way to the top. And if you do it, you will see no black edges anymore. So do the same thing for the second clip. Just drag the motion tile effect on it and drag the motion tile effect all the way to the top. Change the output width to 300 and change the output height to 300. Also make sure to check mirror edges. And that's it guys, you can also add an RGB split if you want, but it's not necessary. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe. That would be insane and bye.